ओके नाउ सो आई वांट टू एक्चुअली गेट ऑल द प्रोडक्ट्स एंड आई वांट टू आल्सो गेट द टेक्स्ट ऑफ दैट ईच प्रोडक्ट नेम ओनली इफ इट इज कैप्सिकम देन आई वांट टू ऐड टू माय कार्ट इफ दैट इज माय रिक्वायरमेंट सो लेट्स डू वन थिंग instead we already have this added to cart with uh, equal to dot click right so let me assume that we are looking for cashews when cashews is found then just go and add to the cart that's my requirement so this step dot products and find product will return array of this four products which you are very clear so if you go back and check your cypress find product till this step it is returning us four products right so now we need to open each and every product returned by this list and on every product we need to fire an event called text method to see what is the text it's returning okay but where is the text actually located text is located somewhere here product hyphen name so just follow me you will understand how to achieve this task this is little tricky but it's very conceptual and this concept will really really help in so many aspects when you are dealing with cypress focus on it so let me actually get the step which will actually get all the four products and in cypress there is a method called each um how can i show that for you now api i guess yeah so that helps us to iterate through an array so right now you have array of four products here now if you want to iterate through each and every element present in that array we need to do that because for each element we have to see what is the text of that product and if the text is caret then we will click or cashews we will click if not we will not click that's the concept right so for that reason we need to iterate earlier we hardly uh, focused on clicking on the second index so we need not actually go through each and every element of the array we directly pulled up the second index and we clicked on it but now our goal is different first of all we need to know where the cashews is present so it's time for us to iterate over an array for that cypress have provided a method called each and they also given us neat example on achieving this okay so again for them they have like this get and when they do cy dot get ulli there is an array what it have and if you want to iterate through that array the method is called each let's say there are four elements present in this array for every loop first time first element is written dollar even that means first element is written and index will be 0 and this is total list now on the first element you can apply any method that's what it is saying so once the loop is done loop will again continue and this time e2 basically it's in dollar e1 second element will fall and index also will be as a subsequent number and you can apply like this this loop will run for number of times you have an items in array if your array items are four then this loop run for four times and every time the every time the index of that element for first time first element falls in the even for second time second element fall in the even once you got that element you can apply any method whatever you want inside on that elements now looking at this concept let's try to implement this concept in our program and try to achieve the goal of identifying the product dynamically with the text okay so you can 
just take the syntax dot each so you need not worry about this code we will try to do it now okay right so for the first time out of four products when i say when loop started iterating for first time i will get hold of uh, this element this product cauliflower total um, four indexes right now loop will start running that's why we call command as each so that run each and every time for every element of this array so what i have to do once i get hold of this single product we should be smart now in identifying um, add to cart button so just focus now dot product which means you are focus will be on the first product which is this yeah now your cypress focus will be on this particular html right out of four we selected one and we went until dot product right so i am here now okay so dollar e1 value whatever you see here it's here at first iteration now from here i will carefully move to this html web element so that i can get the text of cauliflower okay so here the text name is present product hyphen name is the locator right now i am here for first iteration so if i want to move from here to here what will you do it's very simple dollar even so first time you can give get and when you are applying again child look child qu queries on your parent query you can comfortably use find every time okay so this is already parent having some web element right now you are trying to fire on this web element so now dollar even is here from here if you try to search anything dot find then the scope of search will be inside this product okay so h4 what how can i write css for that if i have class name i can simply write dot product hyphen name isn't it now find dot product hyphen name in general when you give the css now take the css and try to spy total it return eight elements matching okay so let me give the tag name as well because it might not look unique so tag name is always optional but you can give it to make it more unique it's for dot product hyphen name okay nice now it's only four elements matching so observe and try to understand here here we are trying an entire page so it returns four product name texts but now smartly out of four products this loop for the first iteration pulled the first array that means it pulled the first product on that first product i am applying dot find method that means find method scope is now only on that product it's not on all four products so this find method have uh, information about only this cauliflower it do not know what's happening outside this if you apply cy dot get of this then it might check an entire page but now it's not cy it's dollar e1 which is this product so here and when you apply h4 dot product hyphen name on this product obviously there will be only one title so it returns cauliflower okay so it will not conflict with any other product so once it grabbed once it is in that location we are not yet done we need to grab the text present on that locator right for that the method name is dot text that's it this will give us the text on that specific locator and you can actually take this text into a variable const um, 
name or text or wedge text something like this okay nice so you can actually start putting condition that if that specific text which whatever you got if it is equals to cashews or it cannot be equals to cashews because there is one more text here hyphen one kg something like that right so you cannot blindly just compare but you can use include there is a in javascript there is a method called includes which will help you to find subtext let me show you if you want to google that includes javascript okay so javascript string includes and whatever you got now is cashew hyphen 1 kg right in that cashew hyphen 1 kg if you want to only check for the cashews then you can use includes method and you can provide that cashew so this text whatever you provide here it will check if it is present in this string or not with includes in java we call it as a substring in javascript we call it as includes right why there is error here okay so what did we do we try to pull the text now when i run this program what happens for it returns four products and loop also iterates four times for first time it will actually have this product right and on that product we were again carefully navigating to product hyphen name and grabbing that text cauliflower if cauliflower includes cashews no it will not go inside this block and the loop again runs for second time with the second product now carrot carrot no again it runs for capsicum it pulls the capsicum and it checks no and the finally for cashews that's the last item right and fourth time that will be retrieved on that product when i try to find product name it gets cashews hyphen 1 kg which includes cashews which is true okay so it will come inside the if block now what you need to do once it is inside if block your goal is to click on this add to cart button right so it's simple you already know once you are on that particular um, block dollar e1 so control of now the fourth index will be on product dot product which is uh, this one now from here you want to move to button price yeah this one i guess yeah product action if you open inside this yeah you have add to cart you can simply say dot contains which you already did here dot contains add to the cart dot click and if you don't want to go with the text you can go with tag name as well there is only one tag name right and if you simply write button tag name also can be written as css and hit and enter you have 10 elements found but for this product there is only one button so it will not cause you harm if you say find the button because the scope of this finding is only on this product so obviously there is hopefully one button only present here so that it will just identify that one or you can say dot contains add to cart it's all up to you once you find that click on that perfect so this is the logic so iterate and whenever you find cashews then click on that button so here we were not going through index in the last lecture out of all array elements we pulled up one particular index but now we dynamically clicking on a product based upon its text name okay 
so even if it caches move to the first or second or tenth no matter doesn't matter for us we were iterating through each and every product to find where exactly caches is located and we were clicking all right fingers crossed let me save this test and execution will trigger automatically and we'll see what happening here Okay, so it's could not find dollar even is not defined. Let's see what happened here. Oh, I got it. So basically here I selected element EL, but I'm using even here. You can use any word that doesn't matter. Okay, the only thing is that element will be captured in this variable and it is reused here. So we copied this from their official website, right? At that time it is EL, but here we were trying to use E1. So whatever it is, just make sure the variable name, whatever you declared here matches with these elements. That's it. L, let me change back all to one word to have consistency. Perfect. Okay, so it have pulled four products and it's trying to check add to cart. Done. You see that two items are added to the cart now. One, we did that with index and another dynamically drive it. So that is how you can actually identify the elements with dynamic in nature. You have learned a lot of concepts here. If you just know down there, you know now how to iterate through products and you also know how to get parent child chaining which is very important when you have multiple objects with same uh, element nature and then you also know how to grab the text present on the web page and you also know how to click on that web page and you also know how to type these are the basic things what we do as part of our testing right typing, clicking and get grabbing the text. So we are trying to cover all these and slowly we were um, starting to cover each and every content of Cypress. Isn't it? Um, we'll see with one more new concept in the next lecture. Thank you.